Hello teachers, uh, Angela Price uh, coming to you live from Riverlawn Elementary with a little uh, phonological awareness tip if this is helpful for anyone. Um, I sometimes am not the biggest technology person, so all the slides that are available through HMH are a little bit overwhelming to me. Well, if you're anything like me and you aren't as crazy, you know, you, you want another option, maybe. Not, I'm crazy. Take it. Yeah, I am a little bit. It's okay. But if you want another option besides the slides on the Promethean board to show as you're doing your phonological awareness daily with your students, another option can be the pages in the teacher's manual. And I just wanted to show you how to find these pages and how you can use them in your classroom. I found that this is a really quick way to work the phonological awareness in because you just go to it, you do it, you're done. You, there's nothing else involved. So if you look at your pacing guide, so for example, here's kindergarten. Here are the pages in your teacher's manual. I highlighted them right there. If you are in first grade, your pages in your teacher's manual are right here at the end of the pacing guide. You can also access these from the digital teacher's manual. I like the paper copy myself. And then second grade, same thing. Yours is right at the end, gives the pages in the teacher's manual. So I'm just gonna give you a quick Way to find this, I'm going to use first grade. So, here I have my h, h teacher's manual right here for first grade. And I'm gonna look and say, okay, right now I'm in week two. So I'm gonna find week two, I'm gonna move over, and I'm gonna look to see what page, alrighty. So I see right here it says T103, so then, I take my teacher's guide, my teacher's manual, and I just turn until I find that, okay? I've got it here, down at the bottom, T103. Here is my phonological awareness activities. Now you can see here, this example has two. It has blend, onset and rhyme, as well as blend phonemes. So based on your time, you may do both of these activities. You may choose to just do one of the activities. You do what works best for your classroom. But what I really like about the items in the teacher's manual, it tells you exactly what to say. It gives you a script. It tells you it has down here the words to use. You just pick this up. You read it, you do it, you're done. You can also pull in the word cards if you would like. You don't have to have the word cards to do it because remember, phonological awareness, it's all listening, it's all oral. We are not connecting it to any letters. So I hope this will be a helpful hint for you to use. If you have any questions or if you're struggling with your teacher's manual, if it's giving you any trouble, um, you can feel free to contact me. My email is aeprice at pcva.us and hopefully I can help you. Good luck with all the phonological awareness.